Hello guys, this is Tommy Gun thirteen thousand, and welcome to this channel called Tommy Gun thirteen thousand. This time, because my other video, I was doing something. So we're gonna. I might get scared today because I'm gonna watch Chuck E. Cheese. That son of gun guy. So I suggest I just turn off my lights and get started but yeah just about it so guess I'm freaking scared I'm gonna turn off the lights even though my closet's open a little bit I have my flashlight with me means like something and then fuck it I'm scared guys this is really good and there's no lights allowed that means like that's even more scarier that's like Worst. That's like a baby, right there. That's like when the baby's oh my, when the kid screams or some shit and stuff like that. Oh man. Um. Hopefully this video is not long enough because like I got like a few minutes. <sighs> Whoop. I'm probably gonna turn. Who knows my iPad from last month. I'm just gonna last, I believe, seven months. Alright, guys, I freaking turn off my light. I turn off my flashlight. Okay, so I found this video right here. I found this video. I did see some, I only see like a few seconds. And we have to turn it like in the middle. No, no, I want. Oh my guys, no, I'm fucking freaked. I'm freaking freaked out. Man, this is scary. But I'm gonna start anyway. Oh my. For a moment or two. Hopefully, it starts. I am 10 years old and I live with my mom. My dad is somewhere around the state traveling with his friends. And he is going to be gone for a while. Me and my mom don't really talk or get along, but we would have a few days when we would have a good laugh. Oh, what's my blanket? Guys, I'm getting laugh. scared already. No joke. Oh, oh, f what have I done? Sorry, Chuck E. Cheese, don't get angry. Don't have it. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys. Oh my guys, I'm actually a little scared. Let me turn out the volume. Then my mom came with the pizza, and then that's when everything weird was happening. The curtains from the stage opened up, and I saw Chucky in the whole group. And that's strange. None of them was on. Then I heard one of the employees scream out to another employee. I heard him argue and argue about it. I turned away from the argument and I looked at Chucky. His head was down. No. And then his head started to move like if he was twitching. Then eyes turned uh, red. No. He was glowing and he faced towards me. Mm. I was really nervous at that time. I looked at my mom and my mom was staring at the employees still arguing. Oh. Uh, uh, what the? Oh. Uh, uh, guys. Guys, this is. Oh, 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 oh
fuck the fuck? Was, uh, I'm sorry. They're robots. I couldn't say anything else, but I started got me speed to this. I uh, guess I was good to see Guys, guys, have you seen this? She looked at the stage and oh, she fuck. said, oh, robots. She turned to the stage and the curtains were closed. No. That's strange. Then I heard. Jewish performance was started in five, four, three, two, one. And then the curtains opened. I was frightened. Like, what if they all just look at me and say something? I don't know. I was really oh, nervous. Oh, shit. The uh, robotic mascot started to sing a song uh, which went like this. This is scary. Oh. Uh. No, I found this video. No, he was. No, he was. Guys, I'm actually scared. I'm not. No, no joke. Guys, I'm actually scared. My mom was as well. I needed to leave, man. I told my mom that I was gonna go to the restroom, and so I went. As I was going, I turned to the stage and I saw the robot staring at me. Mm -hmm. That's when I rushed into the restroom. I stayed in there for at least five I minutes. I say something like this in your life. Play from the audio on the ceiling, uh, saying, let me show up for a minute. I got so scared. And then the lights turned off. I oh, stayed shit. quiet and I heard the door open. No, it disappeared. Oh, what the? That's it? That's it? That's it? Oh, shit. Oh, man. Fuck. Okay, the guys. That was scary, even though my parents are still fucking watching TV. Okay, guys. Hey, guys. That was scary. What is not doing that one thing? What is it? What the fuck it is? Okay, guys. That was like... That was like really... No, I got scared, actually. I was, no joke. I actually did get scared. <laughs> What of that in real life? Like, Chuck E. Cheese with red eyes. In the freaking dark. Like, how would you feel? Let me know in the comments below, guys. And, um, if I was saw something like that, like freaking red eyes or something. Oh, man. I can't, I don't know what I'm going to do about it. And then, when, um, what was I forget, it was like something more. Like when the lights turn off, like... I, I think you said something about the lights. And then something like open the door or something. Something like that. I can't remember, guys. A little bit. I can't remember a little bit. I remember like a little bit. I have a... F okay, for a second I heard noises. Well, not noises, like... Little tiny, tiny bit noises in my room. No joke. Like I heard like I heard like this. I heard something like that. But it was inside of the wall. But it was crazy. It was really crazy. No joke. You know, I was sitting in the freaking dark. Except my iPad has light. Oh man. Why don't we play a different one too? Oh yeah guys. I found another one. Right. I was working at a nearby Chuck E. Cheese to make some extra money to buy a car I wanted. Let me tell you that Chuck E. Cheese is a messy zoo. 
there would be vomit on the floor, piss everywhere, and I would always be the one. I heard this one was not that scary, but I of course hated but it. But later on, I would want to work at a gas station than this. Some of the kids that would come in would be wild and overall just crazy. Some of the kids would even hit me and spit on me, and the parents Ew. weren't strict enough because every time a kid would do that, the parents would just say something like, "Oh, I'm sorry." And act like oh, that happens. Okay. I'd like to mention that the Chuck E. Cheese I worked at is located in an area that it's not so great. You would hear gunshots once every two weeks, and sirens would always be heard at least ten times a week. But that is nothing compared to what happened this one time. We were getting ready to close, and I was finishing cleaning up the machines and games and stuff like that. I suddenly hear Victoria, one of our employees, scream as if she were being stabbed. And my coworker and I rush over to see what was going on. I'd say five or six men with handguns and had all masks on were pointing their guns at Victoria, yelling at her to give them all the money or they would kill her instantly. Are they robbing some? She noticed we were giving the signal to give them the money. They must have caught her eye looking at us. And just like that, they turned to us and had us at gunpoint. I heard a loud bang as one guy shot my co-worker. I put my hands up to and went shot to register a co-worker and gave them the money. They all looked at the money and one guy said, That's it? In a very angry voice. <laughs> um, yes sir. Give us more. We know you have more money. Oh, we wow. actually didn't have more money. It was at least a few thousand dollars in that register. I didn't understand why they couldn't just go. All of the men aimed their guns at me and said something along the lines of, You have three seconds to give us all your money or we will shoot you. Oh, wow, that's fast. <laughs> and ready to die. I was even reflecting back on life. Just then, a gift from God came to us. When I heard police sirens and what sounded like a helicopter coming to us, one of the men said, Oh, crap. They left with the money and into a black van. explain what happened. Our video cameras were broken, so it didn't capture the men on film. Unfortunately, my co-workers didn't make it. He died in the hospital three years later. I quit my job after that and started working at my local supermarket instead. So, to the men who killed my co-worker, I hope you get caught and put in prison for life. We did it end it? Oh, oh shit! Zeus! No. No. No, not. Shh. No, no. Guys. Shit. Oh shit, I just used my light. Oh my That thing comes in the street. And it wasn't normal. Oh, I called our manager back. I was pissed now. I wanted to know what the hell was going on and why my kids were being like this. The manager called back the guy who gave us the first pizza. When he came to us, the manager asked him if he knew or did anything to the pizza. Expectedly, he replied with a no. But I could tell he was blushing and I knew he was lying. He walked off. And there, sticking out of the back of his pocket, was a little container. I told the manager, and he took it out of his pocket. He showed it to me, and I freaked the hell out. It was poison. The manager dumped the contents into his can. It was some sort of white powder, maybe cocaine. At this point, the manager was flipping out, saying things to the guy like, Get the hell out of my store. I called 911, and within 
five minutes, police along with an ambulance pulled up. My kids were okay, considering it was a small amount of whatever that was. The guy was arrested and put in jail for seven years. I couldn't believe someone would give my children food poisoning. The next week, I saw the guy on the news, and the news said that he poisoned my kids. But the most disturbing part, however, was that the police searched his house and found pictures of young children, and this guy was an illegal drug dealer. His time in jail had been extended to 15 years and was arrested for illegal pornography and illegal drugs. I really hope I don't see him again. Oh no. Oh. Oh, thank God. That was a little bit of skit, guys. But the first time... Oh, man. When we got inside, we paid. I noticed a man, I'd say in his 60s, was staring at me. I dismissed him as a father or something. We got our tokens, and I played some games while my mom watched from a distance. So, I play a few games, and I get a bunch of tickets. And when I'm playing that game, I guess you could say where you put in a token, and it pushes your token with other tokens, and they fall. So, I was playing that, and I felt a tap on my shoulder. At first, I thought it was my mom, but it wasn't. It was that guy. He said that he had a bunch of tickets at his table, and that he wanted me to have them. Now, being only seven at the time, I accepted. We went to his table, and you guessed it. There was not a single ticket on his table. Oh, s silly me. I, I must have put him in my car. He asked me if I wanted to go outside to his car and to get the tickets. But Why would you want to do that? My mom grabbed me by the arm and says to the guy, Oh, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. She wanders off and talks to strangers all the time. Of course, the guy pretends that everything's okay and tries to come up with an excuse. Um, for that part, that used to be me, like, in 2010. Like, I'm a, um, this guy came to my door, and he said hi, and then I was like, oh, shoes. And then my mom, she got very angry, and she just closed the door, and she, and she got, me and my brother in trouble. And it was like, I didn't know strangers, like, something. But it was just weird, too. Excuse for him not to get in trouble, like, oh, no worries, ma'am. She, she was just asking me if I knew any cheats to get tickets. As my mom and I sat down to eat, I could still see the man staring at me. I soon forgot about him. I asked my mom if I could use the bathroom, and she said I could. I go into the bathroom, and I get a bad feeling that I shouldn't leave. But before I could, I hear a familiar voice say, Do you still want those tickets, little girl? I get out of the bathroom, and my mom is waiting outside the bathroom, telling me it's time to go. As we were leaving, and in the car, there he was, staring at me through one of the windows in the building. I ignore him, and we drive off. I haven't told my mom or anyone else about this. I am now 16 and no better. So, oh, years ago, there was Look at that. Went missing and kind of scared me, like, when it pops up. I was 20 at the time and in college. I had been working at a Chuck E. Cheese for a part-time job. It was just like any normal Chuck E. Cheese. Kids would come in with their parents and we'd go have fun. I was the cleanup guy, so every time a kid would throw up, I had to clean it up. One day, while working, I noticed a bad odor. Me and the rest of the employees went to try and find the source. We couldn't find it, mainly because it was coming from everywhere. It didn't go away no matter what, so we had to close the store for a couple of days until we knew what the hell smelled so bad. It wasn't the smell of garbage or anything. This smelled more like rotting flesh. When I walked over to the areas where the stage was, where Chucky would do his little show or whatever, the smell got even worse. 
It was surely coming from around there. I walked in the room where the cautions were, and I knew the source was in here. It was coming from inside one of the cautions. I looked inside one of them, and there, in the costume, was the missing woman. She had been killed. I saw oh, blood on her everywhere. I was literally crying. The others came in and saw the horrible sight. They started to freak out, and I dialed 911 immediately. They came and took her and put her into a van or something. The Chuck E. Cheese was closed down for a few weeks after that, but some good news came. I was watching the news, and they had caught the man who had murdered the woman. He was sentenced to life in prison, and I'm glad he is. It just kills me knowing how many sick people there are, and how sick this world is. Okay, guys. Uh, so I think that was it. I just showed you um two stories. But the first one, I got freaked. Because... Remember, guys? I got scared. Like, the first one... <clears throat> well, the first one i never seen. Like, I only heard about it. But, the other one, the last... The next one I showed, i seen it a little bit up to, like, where the black and white is. Not, like, through... Not when I saw the other Chucky from 19-something. Not him. Even though he... Oh my god, guys. He is, is looking scary. He, I remember someone says, like, so, some guy killed a woman or something. And then, uh, the, like, they closed Chuck E. Cheese, like, weeks and weeks, I believe. And then, I think he said something about he got, like, arrested or something. And then,. And then that's it. Yeah, so the first one, like, scared me a lot. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this video because I got scared. That's why. And then subscribe to me. If you are new here, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, just do it. Subscribe. Or have you not liked in the video? Or you're just watching them and do nothing? If you watch the video, like it. No matter what. Whether you like it or not, like it. Oh, shit. Okay, my head guys. So I should get going. Bye.